Alright, so we are on to syslog. We're almost done here. We have a couple videos to go about monitoring and that's pretty much it. So syslog is a standardized way of producing log information. So what's happening in a system uh, or, or the device of some kind. So uh, this is really popular in Linux computers or Unix computers. Uh, Windows does a similar thing with the event log uh, and you can convert that to syslog. Um, pretty much all routers and switches and firewalls and all sorts of things out there, wireless controllers, and they all produce syslog data. So syslog is uh, RFC uh, 3164, if you want to read up on it. And it uses UDP 514. So you'll see that come up a lot. So it's not uh, reliable. There's a lot of syslog data that gets sent and received when you start setting this up. So if you were using TCP for everything, it would just be a ton of overhead. So, you know, if a message doesn't make it, then pretty much oh well. Within syslog, there's a number of severity levels. So this may seem familiar to uh, other systems out there, but uh, the idea is you can flag different entries in your syslog as to whether how important they are. So has my fan died? You know, that might be um, a level two. It's, a, it's a something critical. Uh, has my interface gone down? Well, that might be level one. That's an alert. Um, does my power supply failed? Well, that might be an emergency level zero. Um, did somebody log in as an administrator? Well, that might be informational, so that's level six. So there's a bunch of different uh, you know, categories that you can put them in. So only the things you care about you know, you can pay attention to. So what we have are uh, eight levels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember it's computer based so it starts at zero. So level zero is emergency. So And depending on the system you're using, it may use numbers or words, uh, or they may make up their own words. Uh, it kind of depends. Level one is alert. Three is critical. Four is warning. Five is notice. Uh, six is informational. And seven is debug. Most likely you won't want to look at level seven. Now, in this kind of syslog data, you can retrieve uh, and collect in a central location. So th what we're going to do is go over the configuration of a syslog um, device. So it would then send its syslog data to some sort of collecting server, and then you can interpret and co you can collect that data, you can interpret it, you can analyze it, you can make graphs, you can generate alerts and send out emails saying something went down or you know whatever it might be. So there's a bunch of monitoring systems out there that can handle this. Um, the Kiwi makes a syslog viewer, there's um, Xenos which is a big monitoring system, Nagios, uh, there's, there's a bunch of them out there. Uh, so among the other processes that they have to monitor, one of those could be a syslog. So this is something I'd recommend you set up uh, and start start um, start simple. <laughs> Don't send syslog from every system with every level to one server, and you're never going to be able to determine what you care about. You're probably going to want to know like level four and up, or maybe three and up. You know, below that, you're, you're probably not going to care. And even then, this might be too chatty depending on the device that you're working on. So, you know, pick and choose carefully, and I'll mention how to do that. So, what we'll do is we'll go in the Packet Tracer and we'll set that up on one of our routers here. So, what we'll do is I'll put down a, put down a server. And, alright, yep, it has syslog, so we're going to give it an IP. This is one dot, so. We're going to give it 192.168.1.2 and I'm going to give it a gateway 
and syslog is turned on and running so that's already done all we have to do is hook it up all right so now spanning tree is going to do its business and we can go configure a router so let's choose some random router far away going to go in config mode and pretty much it's pretty much one line I mean until you go to tweak it basically the, to turn it on is one line so uh, I'm going to wait until spanning tree finishes up top there and we go green almost there we go alright so what you do is you just say logging and then the IP address of where you're going to collect it and it relies on the routing of the routers to get that traffic to where whatever server it is. So we're going to say logging, ta-da, and let's go take a look at our server, see if anything came up yet. Nothing showed up. So let's go out of config mode. There we go. So I exited config, and there's a syslog actually right there. So see how it says sys5 config? So syslog 5, level 5, so that's notice and it says hey something's been configured and then here it is showing up right here so one thing you notice though is um, whoops one thing you'll notice though we have message we have you know who did it come from uh, and we have time but it's set to January 1st at midnight it's never useful so what we'll have to do is go in and tell it to uh, timestamp this correctly so let's do that let's go into config mode again and uh, what we have to do is turn on timestamps. So we're going to say service timestamps log date time. Whoops, milliseconds. So now it will stamp the syslog with the date and the time with milliseconds. Sometimes you can, I think, skip the milliseconds, but we have to do that here. Uh, some other things we can do, and we'll we'll show the you know the date showing up in just a second. Um, some other things we can do. We can, as I mentioned, you might only want to care about certain levels of syslog data. So what we can do is go into logging, trap, and then set a level that we want. So sometimes you can define you know I want level four or something like that. On this one, it's only allowing me to do level seven. To include it, uh, depending on what device you're using, you might be able to say trap four, and then that means anything warning and up, it's going to send anything level five, six, and seven, it will ignore. Uh, you can also use the word sometimes too, kind of like how you see it says debugging. You can also sometimes say trap warning, or trap error, or you know trap critical, or something like that. Uh, you can also tell it what interface that uh, syslog data comes from. If you wanted to stamp that from a specific interface, I don't think I can do it here, but on yours you might be able to if you're using a real one. You can say sort, yeah, source interface, and then the interface it is. So you could say, you know, this syslog data is coming from this certain interface. If I you wanted to, you probably won't care uh, unless you're using. Uh, loopbacks. I'd suggest stamping that from the loopback address and use the loopbacks. So you know we could do uh, interface loopback and then zero, and then give it an IP address. I know I keep talking about loopbacks, and I'll just show you making one. Interface loopback zero, IP address um, 88888, and give it. Uh, you know, dot zero or something like that. And then we could theoretically set the uh, source to that then. So you could do something like that. And that way all the traffic would come from that, you know, one management address that you set on your router. And then, of course, that would then tie into you know your dynamic routing protocols we talked about and things like that so uh, that's something you could do that would be advantageous uh, so let's get out of config mode and it will make another thing here and take a look at that so 
now we have some actual date stamps correct in here let's go take a look at our server and yep there they are so now they have their date time and then what message it is and things like that so not the best display in this example with this system here but if you're using a fancy analysis program or something like that you know you'd, you'd get some interesting things and you could flag it and generate alerts and stuff like that uh, we can do one show command that's really relevant is do show logging and that'll tell you what kind of logging you have enabled and what size and any filters you're using and statistical information on how many are generated and where it's being sent and what port it's using and stuff like that so that's pretty much it for uh, for syslog and uh, we'll move on to SNMP